why the narcissist doesn't come back for you. The relationship ended and you haven't heard from the narcissist. They didn't come back for you, which may leave you very confused because there's so many videos on YouTube about narcissists hoovering, but the narcissist didn't try to hoover you, which may make you think you're not valuable or useful to them. And then it may make you want to contact them because it might make you question if you were even dealing with a narcissist. But just because a narcissist doesn't hoover you, it's not a reflection of your value or worth. The narcissist may not think that they can hoover you because maybe you've got no contact and you've blocked them. So it may not even be possible for them to reach out to you, especially if you've deleted your social media and you've changed your phone number because they may not know where you live and they may not know your friends or family. So there may not be any way for them to find you and that could be why they haven't hoovered you because there is no possible way for them to contact you. So it means that you've done a really good job at severing ties with them because in the age of technology, it's very difficult to remove people from your life. But that may not be the only reason why they didn't come back for you. They also fear rejection. It's one of their greatest fears. They may be worried that you might say no to them so they will avoid you at all costs, even though they may want to come back for you. They may want to hoover you. Their fear of rejection overwhelms them and prevents them from doing that. So despite how much they may want you back in their life, they're not going to come back for you. because they're terrified that you might say no, which will really infuriate and upset them. So they're not gonna come back for you because their fear of rejection is too overpowering. They may think that you don't want them to come back for you. They may think that you don't want anything to do with them after how they treated you. They may think that you're done with them because now you know who they are and even if they did come back you might not want to take them back anyway so they don't even want to come back. They see it as though they'd be coming back just so you can reject and humiliate them and they don't want to give you the satisfaction. They don't want to give you the last laugh. Their fragile ego and false sense of pride won't allow them to put themselves in that type of position. They are very insecure. So they have to be in a position of power over you. They don't want you to be in a position where you get to decide whether or not you'd like to take them back. They don't want it to be something that you'd have to think about or get back to them on. They want you to see them as a blessing to your life. And if they've already done so much, it's likely that you're not going to see them that way and they know it. So they may just want a clean slate with someone else. But there's no preconceived ideas about them because they've already put you through so much. So now they will just avoid you. They won't come back for you because you know who they are now. They may reverse hoover you. They may go silent and not contact you. 
even though they want you back. Because they want you to be the one who comes back. And that may be why they haven't come back for you. Sometimes people assume that something must be wrong with them if the narcissist didn't reach out to them. It may make you think that you're a bad person or that there's something wrong with you. Because you see all of these videos of narcissists hoovering their targets. And sometimes the narcissist bombards them with messages and phone calls. Or the narcissist may even show up at their house. Which clearly reveals that the narcissist still has an interest in these people. They still want them back. And it may leave you feeling like something must be wrong with you. Because otherwise, why wouldn't they reach out to you? But the truth is that they may just feel intimidated by you. They may fear that you will reject them. And they don't want that to happen. They don't want to be rejected by you. They don't want you to injure their pride and ego. So instead they will stay silent and they won't reach out to you. Because they want you to reach out to them. To save them the risk of being humiliated by you. Because they don't want to give you the satisfaction. They don't want to give you the last laugh. They don't want to leave you thinking that they're struggling without you. Because that's humiliating enough for them. And it's even worse if they really do need you. And they reach out. And you still reject them. They wouldn't be able to cope with that. They wouldn't know how to manage those painful feelings of rejection. And that is why if they think there's any possibility that you might reject them, they're not going to come back for you. They're not going to put themselves in that type of position. They want to save themselves the humiliation and shame that might otherwise come from them doing that. So they will reverse hoover you. By staying silent and by waiting for you to reach out to them. And this is why narcissists often go dead silent for no apparent reason. They're hoping that it will make you wonder what is going on with them. They're hoping that it will spark your curiosity and intrigue. And cause them to be of interest to you. Which is why they deliberately act mysterious in the hopes that it will fascinate you. Sometimes they may seem puzzling, strange, peculiar, odd and weird. But this isn't just always their natural way of being. They act strange and they keep secrets in order to attract your attention. Because they see it as something provocative and alluring. As something that's going to suck you back in. So they will act mysterious and puzzling. In the hopes that it will make you reach out to them. Because if it does make you reach out to them, it gives them a clean slate. It helps them to forget everything they did to you and to start again. They feel like it removes the chains that once deprived or restrained them of their personal liberty. To where they were once unemotional, dispassionate and engaged in moderate behaviour because they had to keep themselves under control. They had to exercise self-discipline and self-restraint. They had to deal with all these limitations and restrictions. But when they use the reverse hoover and you reach out to them, they feel like you've set them free. You've released them. You've liberated them. You've granted them their freedom. You've forgiven and pardoned them. You've set them loose from constraints. And this is their primary motivation for using the reverse hoover tactic. Because of how liberating and empowering it feels. It's a very potent source of supply for a narcissist. Because they feel like if they were so bad then why would you reach out to them? Why would you contact them? So the moment you take them back in, they feel like you've lost. 
because this is the mindset that they have and this is why they didn't hoover you because they don't want to lose they want to win and that is why they're waiting for you because while you may feel good initially by having them back in your life they will end up treating you even worse later on because now they feel like they can get away with it more since you were the one who reached out to them they see it as though if you're not okay with their behaviours then why would you reach out to them because they don't think they should have to change anything they don't think there's anything wrong with them that's what they're telling themselves and it's why they will sit back and wait for you to reach out to them so that you're left in a position where you're trying to get them back and then they can just point out everything that is wrong with you everything that they want to change everything that they want you to do it just inspires their grandiosity it makes them feel like they can have whatever they want and do whatever they want because they've done all of these things to you and you're the one who is reaching out to them and then they're still the one who has pointed out everything that is wrong with you to where you will just keep doing more and more for them while they will just keep abusing you and you will still keep taking them back which is the perfect dynamic for a narcissist to thrive in it helps their disorder to flourish and grow but if they know you're not going to tolerate the abuse and you're not going to do everything that they want you to do then they're not staying silent because they want to reverse Hoover they're staying silent because they're done with you which doesn't make you any less of a person it means that they realize that you realize you're better than them and you're better than the treatment that they were given to you because that's why they don't come back for you they don't come back because you've defeated them you've won by realizing your worth over the narcissist and that is not what they want they want people who are unsure about their worth people who will settle for less than what they deserve and that's just not going to be you anymore so they're done with you which means that you have the power to decide when they're done you have the power to choose yourself over the narcissist and by doing that they will be done with you because they do not want to be with someone who chooses themselves they want someone who will put them first before anything else but whether they hoover you or not does not determine your worth if they don't hoover you it's because they've realized that you've realized your own worth especially if they're not using the reverse hoover and it's your realization of your worth that discourages the narcissist because they want to be around people who are unsure of their worth so that they can exploit them which means that if they don't reach out to you you have won it means that they know they can't come back Thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate to paypal.me slash narc survivor you could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.